What's going on? Cooper the Reseller coming at you from Omaha, Nebraska. And I'm about to head up in this uh, Goodwill. Not sure where the uh, sign is. There it is, kind of. I'm gonna bring y'all with me. Let's see what we can find. Right off the bat, I just want to apologize for this shaky camera using a super sketchy setup, but it's the best I could do right now. Hopefully it's not too bad throughout the video. But as you can see here, I usually start off at this store by going to the men's jeans, but on the way there, I saw these nice Under Armour sweatpants. They always do pretty good for me. So I scooped those up right away, no question. And then I went on to see if I could find any jeans. The jeans ended up being a bust, so I had to head over to the shoes next, and I saw these Vans from pretty far away, and I was like, ooh, those are super popular right now, but as you saw there, they're priced at 25 bucks. I said, heck to the no, put those back on the shelf, dropping boots because I'm so mad, but if you ever drop shoes like that, make sure you put them back. Don't be the person that just leaves them on the floor. I also saw those DC Shoe Company woman's shoes. I think I passed on those because they're a bit too dirty for me. So then I swoop around here on this side of the rack. They have the men's shoes. That's usually where I find the best stuff. I don't really look at women's shoes too much because I just don't know enough about heels and stilettos and women's shoes like that. But I know there's money to be made there. But these I came up on, I was super excited about. These are gravity defier shoes. I found them a few times and I actually know that they sell for a lot. So I just put those in my cart right away. I put things that I'm gonna buy for sure on that top rack of the cart. And then I put stuff that I'm not sure on that I need to look up on the bottom of the cart just to help organize it better. But I know those shoes sell for really good money. I'll go over them more at the end of the video but i also found these converse suede shoes that are pretty sweet too i put those in the bottom of the cart because i wasn't sure on them i wanted to look them up and the same with the, these leather shoes as well i thought these were pretty cool super clean super nice condition so i you know i had to look those up too So after looking at some other shoes like that boot right there, I didn't see anything else. So after the shoes, I head over to the jackets, but on the way I found an amazing one of a kind item, a Home Depot bucket, baby. Let's do this. I'll explain at the end of the video why I wanted this and picked it up. It is not reselling related. So spoiler alert there. Up next, I came across these, what looked to be vintage game, sweatpants, windbreaker pants, joggers. They're bright blue and they were lined on the inside with a nice, uh, I forget what the material is, but those lined sweatpants sometimes go for a lot. I put those in my cart. I ended up not getting them because I couldn't find enough good comps. So if you know about game sweatpants, let me know if I should have kept those. Up next, I found this Nike mock neck baseball jersey shirt, 3-4 sleeve raglan style. I've gotten similar Nike mock necks to this shirt, so I put it in my cart. I was going to buy it right away, but I unfortunately was not as good as my other Nike mock necks, and I'll explain that later, but I went ahead and picked that up. Next, I found this shirt. It had tags on it. It was a brand I never heard of, but I always think it's a good idea to check the tags right there like I am and check that MSRP. The MSRP on it was 50. A lot of the times you can sell stuff on eBay for half the MSRP price, but I passed on it just because it I didn't look high quality enough. Here I found a Lacoste, a nice Lacoste v-neck sweater, but as you can see there I'm pointing out some stains. 
those stains are the reason I decided to pass on that sweater. Otherwise, I would have got it. Lacoste is a good brand to look out for. Here's a nice, eh, you know, decent Nike jacket. Not the best, but there were some black looking spots really tiny on the front of it there. I'm trying to pick off. Usually they're like little fuzz, like pieces of fuzz that are super dark. And usually I can pick them off. But on this one, it seemed like a stain. It would not come off. So that's the reason that I decided to pass on it right there. Up next, I found this nice Columbia fleece. It's actually a woman's 4X. And usually I don't get these Columbia fleece jackets unless they're super cheap. But this one, it was pretty cheap at 359. But also I got it because of the size 4X. It's really hard to find 4X sizing. So that's usually really easy to sell. And as you can see, I got stuck there. <laughs> when you're taking stuff off of the hanger like that, just be careful not to rip the tags off because I've accidentally done that before. Up next, I found this American Eagle beautiful shirt for $1.99. Has that nice flag down the sleeve. I usually wouldn't get this, but I've been selling on Depop recently and I feel like it might do okay on Depop. I don't think it'll sell on eBay, I don't think it'll sell on Poshmark, and I don't think it will sell on Mercari, but I think maybe it has a chance on Depop, so I wanted to take a gamble there, and I went ahead and just put that in my buy pile. This shirt I've seen before, and I've actually sold it before, it's a Chicago Cubs 2016 World Series Champions t-shirt. New with tags, as you can see the stickers right there on it. I'm pretty sure it had the tag on it too. So I put it on my cart to look up. It was also a 2XL, otherwise I probably wouldn't have looked it up. But looking at the comps, they were not good, so I ended up passing on it. And in the next row over, I came across this Under Armour hoodie, which I really liked. had a nice geometry pattern to it. And it was only $3.59, I believe. might have been $5.49, but... Hoodies, especially Under Armour hoodies, have done really well for me in the past. Not so much recently, but I think that's because it's summertime and it's hot out. But with winter coming up, I've been loading up on hoodies and winter gear and jeans. So I think it will do good for me in the next couple of months. In the next row over, which is the t-shirt aisle, I found this Marvel Spider-Man jersey. Sometimes these can do okay, so I put it in my cart to look up. And when I looked it over later, it actually had some cracking in it, so I decided to go ahead and pass on it. And then I continued down the shirt aisle, and there's just this shirt chilling on the top, which I've actually sold before as well. It's a Nike LeBron James t-shirt, and he's in the playoffs right now with the Lakers. And I know I've sold it before for like 15, 20 bucks, so I decided just to scoop it up because it was only $1.99, so I didn't mind that. And then I also came across another Nike shirt. It's actually KD, Kevin Durant. Had a cool electric eel graphic on it with the nice little like bleach spots, paint spots on it. I thought it was pretty cool. It was only $1.99, so I didn't need to look it up as well. I just went ahead and picked that up. And let's see what else I find in the shirt aisle. Ooh, this one was... Uh, it was hard to pass. Shout out to my girlfriend. I wanted to get this so I could wear it when she's around me. But I decided it was probably my best interest not to do that. So I went ahead and left it behind for someone else. And then next, I found this. I, I, th I thought it was really cool. This Nike Just Do It American Flag shirt. But it had some spots on it, I believe. So I just passed on it right away. Otherwise, I definitely would have got it. That design was cool. It would have done really well, I think. But then I found this Nike Tiger Woods polo shirt, which I was really excited about. And I actually just listed this yesterday. And at the time of when I picked this up, I did not notice it. And afterwards, I did not notice until I listed it. But the pits, I, you see there, I didn't look at the armpits. The armpits had the crystallized deodorant in it. It was really hard to see, but it did have some crystallized deodorant stains, which is kind of a bummer. They're not too noticeable but it's just something you want to look out for when you're looking at shirts, looking them over. After I was finished going through the men's shirts, I went ahead and went over to the locked up women's jeans and I found these Miss Me jeans. But if you look right here, I put my finger through that little hole that was, it was a little too big and in a bad position or in a bad spot in the waistband. So I decided to pass on those jeans. 
Over here, I went to the normal section of women's jeans and I found these silver jeans. They had a good back, a good front. They were a good size and a good price. So I decided to scoop these up, make sure the zipper works, put those in the cart. And when I'm going through the women's jeans, I'm kind of, I usually go pretty fast, kind of fan my hand through them and look for the embellished pairs with the jewels and the whatever they're called on the back or the side of the jeans. That's when you can tell it's a higher quality pair of jeans. And once you see those, you need to go ahead and check the price. Check first, check the brand, make sure it's a good brand. Then you can check the price. See if it has any stretch to it, has a good back, has good stitching, has good embroidery. Make sure it's looking good. And for silver jeans specifically, which these are, I like to get them over size 30. Those seem to do better for me. So after I'm done with the women's jeans, that's when I, I'm pretty much done with the clothing and I go over to the hard goods and I came across this plush Pluto vintage from 1992 for Miss America. What the heck? I was like, is this worth something? And I was looking at the tag, trying to tell how vintage it is. It had to be before 92, but I don't think it had a date on it. And I think I looked it up and I couldn't find anything similar. So I ended up passing on it, but if you know more about that, let me know. Maybe I left behind a grail and I just didn't even know. Plush and toys is one category I'm not very good at. That's something I definitely could improve in, study in, strengthen my reseller knowledge in, but I just ended up passing on it. I already had a bunch of stuff and I wanted to go through this other aisle, which has more toys, bags, and golf clubs. And I do end up finding one thing that does not look like the other. Can you see what it is before I get it? It's coming up right about now. Can you see it? It's sticking out like a sore thumb. Unfortunately, my camera work isn't very good when I'm picking it up, but you'll see here. What is it? A golden putter. And on the end of it, it has sketched in, it says 24 karat gold. And then on the, not the side where you hit the ball, but the other side, there's like a little badge that says Coca-Cola on it. So I was like, what the heck? I gotta get this. All right, what's going on guys? My other phone ran out of battery at the end of that thrifting session. I actually, after my phone went off, I went through the hard goods, but I just wanted to do a recap real quick of everything I found, kind of give you what's going on in my mind as I got each and every one of these pieces. So let's get right into it. Starting with this bucket. These make awesome chairs. As you can see, it's what I'm sitting on now. This is not to resell. This is for the house. I actually want to get 10 or 20 of these to make an outdoor beer pong slash water pong set. I think that'd be fun with like a big basketball. And then this putter I found at the very end, I was like, what the heck looking at the golf clubs. And I noticed it said, see if y'all can read this 24 karat gold on here. Might be reversed. And then on the other side, Coca-Cola, enjoy Coca-Cola. It's like a legit Coca-Cola golden putter. I don't know, it's just kind of threw me for a loop. The handle looks pretty sweet. Just trying to see if there's a brand on here, but just says genuine leather. There might be something under the tag here. I paid $9.99 for it. I'm assuming it was like a company prize or company gift that was given away or something. I looked up some I found some golden putters that kind of look the same. They're going for like 50-ish range. And then I also looked for Coca-Cola putters. And I think they're also going for like 50-ish range, maybe a little more. So that's what I'm hoping to get for this guy. I haven't had a lot of luck with finding uh, putters or golf clubs and stuff. So that was pretty interesting to find. Let's see what else we got. There were some things that you saw that I... You, some things I, I pick up and I know I'm going to get them no matter what. I don't even look them up. I just guess and hope, or I don't guess, but I make an educated guess that yes, this is going to sell for a decent amount. 
This, I believe, was one of them. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is a Nike Tiger Woods golf polo shirt. Picked it up for $5.49. Tiger Woods stuff always does really good. The material is really nice. I really like this back. It's like shiny and reflective, this line down the end. So that was pretty good. This will probably bring around 25 bucks. So I'm pretty hyped on that one. Let's see what else. This was a gamble. Normally, I probably wouldn't pick this up for eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari. This is more of a gamble for Depop. It, it just, I have a feeling in my gut it's something that I'll do decent on Depop. It was only $1.99, so I was like, why not? Has this little American flag stripe down the side of the sleeves. Um, but yeah, it's just a cool America Eagle shirt. We'll see what happens there. That's a, that's a shot in the dark right there. This is a good old columbia 4xl jacket or columbia fleece jacket mock neck bought that for 359 so that's a good price normally i probably would stay away from these but since it is a 4xl or is it a 4x it's actually a 4x so it might be a women's it's hard to find 4x so I'll pick that up. That's a good size. That should do pretty well. I'd say probably 25, 30-ish range, maybe more, but I doubt it. And then this was kind of a gamble too. I've been finding mock, Nike mock necks. And I found this Nike mock neck. And they've been doing really good for me. But this is a baseball, Major League Baseball, Nike Pro Combat. So I don't know if that'll help or make it worse. Then the I found a vintage knock, mock neck that obviously did really well, Nike. And then I also found a Nike Golf mock neck, and that also did really well. So hopefully this baseball one does well. I didn't look it up because I just had a feeling it'll I'll be able to sell it. I like the back of it really cool, and it's got the third three-fourth sleeve, the raglan type shirt. I paid $5.49 for that, hoping to get at least $30, $35 bucks for that one. We'll see how that goes. And the reason I don't look everything up is because I'm trying to get through the thrift store as fast as I can. I'm trying to save time. If I kind of know what stuff sells for and I know it's going to make a profit, I don't waste time looking it up. I'm trying to save time by going through and only looking up stuff I really need to. And as you thrift and the more you do it, the more you'll download that information into your brain and you won't have to look up as much, as, look up as much stuff. For example, this, I've gotten this exact shirt before, LeBron James, Nike, dry fit. It is $3.59. I know, I think I sold this for like 20 bucks, maybe 18 bucks. It wasn't the best seller ever, but LeBron and the Lakers are in the playoffs right now, so that might do hotter than normal. The end of bag one. I thought I had another shirt. Maybe it's in here. Uh, let's go through these jeans real quick. Some amethyst women's jeans, size 13. These won't sell for a lot, but for some reason they have a really high sell-through rate. So these will probably bring around 25 bucks. I paid 3.59. They usually sell pretty fast. Put that over there. These are silver jeans, 5.49. Got a decent design on the back, decent on the front. I usually don't get silver jeans unless they're above a size 30. They just seem to sell better when they're above size 30. This one is a size 31, and it is a Kelly Boyfriend Relaxed Skinny. So in my experience, boyfriend jeans and skinny jeans has done pretty good. So why not get both so with this one right here? Happy with that. This was an interesting, I actually really like this design. This uh, It's an Under Armour hoodie. It's got the drawstrings, which is good. Just got an interesting like square triangular design on it, full zip, size medium, paid $5.49. Under Armour hoodies you should, used to do really, really good for me, but they've kind of slowed down. But I'm assuming once the starts getting cold out again, they'll start doing really good again. Probably sell that for at least 25, hopefully 30-ish. Here's the other shirt I was thinking of. 
I found this with the LeBron shirt, I believe. This is a KD, Kevin Durant. has like a little eel on it. Pretty sick, but it's got like the, the paint spots all around it too, if you can kind of see that. I just really like that design. Paid $3.59, hopefully get 20-ish bucks for that. And let's see. Get rid of that bag and then some interesting shoes to say the least. I've never gotten this brand before. Sunsteps hand woven hand woven. <laughs> uh well, I forgot. I look I did look these up. Um leather. What is this called? This design. Woven leather sandals. I forget the exact term, but these are selling for around anywhere from like 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 bucks. So hopefully I'll get on the higher end of that. Paid eight bucks for them. And the sell through rate was pretty good on these. So I'm thinking they'll do pretty decent. The size wasn't the best, I don't think. If I can see that anywhere on here. Did I even look for the size? I don't know if I did. Sometimes these leather shoes don't even have the sizes on them, which is really annoying, or they got wore off. And that might actually be the case for these, and that would suck. Because I really don't know how to size shoes when you don't have the correct size. Wow. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I thought I saw a number on there. There's an 8 right here in front of the sun steps. So I usually try not to buy shoes unless the size is labeled somewhere, and that's right there. So size 8. It's not the best. It might be a European size. I don't know. We'll find out. These were interesting as well. These uh, Converse Velour fabric sneakers, pink. I don't know if you can see that. My lighting's kind of bad down here, but it's got that Velour canvas material on it. I've never seen these before. Uh, woman size 10, men size 8, paid $7.99. Hopefully I can get 35 for these, roughly around that range. I like getting Converse shoes. I just realized that <laughs> these have the name Brittany on the back of them. So hopefully I can find a Brittany that is a size 10 that would greatly appreciate these shoes. All right. And then probably the biggest find of the day. And a lot of people don't even know are these, I think they're G Defy. Let's see, does it say the brand on here? I thought I saw it somewhere. Gravity Defiers, G Defy. Yeah, G Defy, it's on the bottom. Apologize for that bad lighting. They're G Defy shoes. They look like this. They have this logo on them, or I think they have a different logo as well. But they're just like work shoes, and they're the non-slip. But the cool thing about these is that there's a spring built into the heels here. And they're really expensive shoes. They're specifically designed for people that have foot problems. My mom buys these and that's how I know of this brand. She has plantar fasciitis in her feet and she has to get special shoes just like these G Defies to help out with that plantar fasciitis. You'll also see those shoes with like the springs on them. Those are really they're, those are doing the same thing as well. These just hide the spring. So if you ever see those shoes as well, try to pick those up. They're really expensive and they usually sell really well. Paid eight bucks for these. I didn't look them up because I know that they do really good, but they should go for at least 50. Sometimes they can go up to 80, 100. It just depends on the model and the color. I think these are around 200 bucks to buy them brand new, roughly. I'll have to double check, but definitely worth it at eight bucks. And that's everything I found at that Goodwill for bonus. I did go to Ross beforehand, found one thing. Might as well show it off for the football season upcoming. Hopefully it doesn't get canceled by the Rony Rona. Uh, AJ Green, NFL, Cincinnati Bengals, black and white jersey. I thought it was pretty cool. It didn't have a price tag on it, but the MSRP was 150 you can see that 150 size small 
I asked the lady, can you look this up for me? She said, I can give it to you for $23.99. I said, all right, I'll do that. In my head, I was like, I don't want to go above 20 or 25. So that was right in line. And I think the I can sell this for, it was either, I think 60 was the lowest it's listed at. So 60, 70 ish range, maybe when the NFL season starts, these puppies will start selling a lot more. Maybe I can get more, but even still, I kind of like the Jersey. So if I had to keep it, I wouldn't be too mad about it. And that is everything I found today. I just hit up this Ross before the Goodwill and then I hit up that Goodwill and I ran out of time for the day, but I really wanted to make a in the thrift video. Let me know if you guys like that format. It's kind of fun and I can kind of show you what I'm thinking when I'm going through thrift stores, trying to make some money. Hopefully you guys can learn some more tips from me. I'll try to come out with some more videos in the near future. If you want to see more of these videos, leave a comment section or leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more reselling related content. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you could do me a favor, smash that like button, share this video with anyone who might appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.